Oh no, it's doing the thing. Hello viewers. I am up on the helipad before the kids wake up because it's the only time I can be up here. Check out this view. I know I already showed you probably and it's bright as well, but here it is. It's day two without Wi-Fi. I can feel my notifications piling up or worse, not have any at all. I can feel my friend, my boyfriend, freaking out because I haven't messaged him in a day. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, that's partly true. I'm not completely worried. I'm sure he's figured maybe I didn't have Wi-Fi or no connection that I'll be fine. And I'm fine, I'm actually fine. It's nice not having to worry about that part because there's so many other things to worry about. Not worry about, there's so many other things to concentrate on while I'm here in this ancestry home with family. I don't know what we're gonna do today. I heard we were gonna check out the city, maybe get a haircut. So it'll be a surprise for everybody except for those two things. And then we'll have some fun. I don't know what kind of fun, but we'll have some fun. I did not end up staying up last night because as soon as I got changed and settled into my cold, nice cold, non-sweaty room with my family, just didn't feel it anymore. I didn't feel like partying. I was tired. I didn't really get any sleep the other night. Like three hours, right? So I had to pass out. And it didn't help that my sister, who was encouraging me to come sing with her all night, got dressed also and settled into bed and then went, you know what, I don't want to go outside anymore. And I was like, all right, that's fine with me. Whew, it is hot. Um, I got spoiled by my bedroom, which is nice and air conditioned. I forgot that the norm here is when you're outside, you're just stewing in sweat. It's not like you step outside and it's burning. It's like you step outside and then it's warm and then you just start to drip sweat. Like it's like you're just steaming in this heat. All right, let's do this. Oh yes, yeah, so we found out that upstairs here in the balcony, there's a helipad on the stairs up to the helipad. But up here in the balcony, there is a bathroom, a really nice bathroom with a toilet that flushes, a very nice shower. It's over here. My parents are in it right now. Um, I mean, pretend I didn't say that. I don't, I don't know who's in there. Um, and it's really nice having a bathroom up here. I haven't used it yet, but imagine you come upstairs and it's freaking hot. And at the end of the day, if, you shower, if you're like me and you shower at the end of the day, you're, you're sweating and you're hot and you go in there, you take a cold shower and then it's like so nice. It's like hot body, hot body. And then cold water, heaven. And then you leave the cold shower and you're cold from the shower and it's warm outside. And then you sweat and then the purpose of your shower is ruined. But it's nice and I can't wait to use it later. It's so cool because like you go up here and then here's the outside, you step on these tiles and then there's the bathroom. It's so cool and then you come out you can see the stars or something. Well, right now you can see the stars at night. And this place is so magical. <laughs> Good news, I am on my way to get Wi-Fi. My uncle has it in his house, which is right across the way, right there. Here's my mom's house, my mom's house where she grew up, and there's my uncle's house. I am expecting to see a lot of notifications. <laughs> We're not at all, but that's exciting. Check this out. Wi-Fi. Bam, look at that. Focus, it won't focus. I am so popular. Look at the steering wheel. <laughs> when you're too awkward it out using your uncle's bathroom so you just go to the other house change not change of plans new plans plans have been added now that I got my Wi-Fi fill we are gonna go to the buy-in. I don't know what to expect from there either, so I'll just record it. We've stuffed ourselves in this car because there's no room anywhere else. My mom's butt is so boring. This isn't the buy-in. This is a cathedral that we stopped by. If I stand right in front of the church, you won't be able to see me because my outfit. Look, I'm gone. I disappeared. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Oh, I'm right here. the 
horse carriage thing. It is so hot and bright. I sat up right here and I wanted to also whip the horse. So I would grab onto the guy's whip and I, I grabbed onto the whip and he tried to grab it from him. But he wouldn't give it to me, so I was like, I sat back there. But literally, I grabbed his whip and I just tried to yank it from his hand and he did not. No expression, just didn't, just let, didn't let it go. I was too weak. Whoa. And a whip, no up whipping any. I'd known that earlier. I would have bought more stuff. I need more pens. Here's my new bag. Isn't it nice? I'm very happy with it. It looks like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at their faces. It looks so weird. <laughs> yes, get it. He is screaming for freedom. He is screaming for redemption of the rooster sort. He is the voice of the rooster. This is a rooster. This is his brother. <laughs> He's so cute. That's a nice cock right there. I got really close now. He's nervous. It's okay. It's 
It's okay. It's okay. Check out that sunrise. Check out those roosters. All check out that sunset. And check out those roosters sitting on their perch. Come on! Woo! You know what? I'm better at pool than this toad right here, though. Hi, Mr. Toad. So my siblings and I like to play this game called Butiki, where when you see a lizard, a house lizard, you say Butiki. <gasps> that is a big one. Butiki. <laughs> hey, hello, kitty. Butiki. Can you see his face? I think his mouth is open. Butiki. Okay, well, oh, there's a bunch here. Butiki. Butiki. Butiki, butiki. Yeah. <laughs> so many. Oh, they're barking. It was quiet earlier. Bye, doggy. That's barking. Time to go back through the dark to that house. Just follow that lone light, and then we'll get there. Eventually, you will hear some dogs talking out loud because it is kind of creepy walking through this without a light. I don't have a flashlight. I don't know if I'll step on something sharp. Jade has a flashlight. Really, oh, bright one, and I already almost tripped. Going upstairs. I'm a little bit freaked out. And thank God, here we are. Here. We are in this beautiful abode. Time to rest up. I guess I'll end the vlog like this. <laughs> we did do too, too much, nothing crazy. Hung around, bought a new bag, bought some paintbrushes because they're cheap here. Wish I bought some inks, maybe some other time. If not, well, it's fine. Only a few more days until we go home. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like we're gonna stay here forever, which I am not complaining too, too much about. Some of my cousins went home and we didn't, we didn't get to say goodbye because we were too busy playing billiards. So if you're watching this, cousins, we love you, we'll miss you. We'll probably, I'll probably see you again in like a few days. And goodbye, but also hello for next time. Had dinner at the auntie's house. Got to use Wi-Fi, which was nice. Got to see a lot of butikis, a lot of booty keys. And now we're back in air conditioned place. We either have air conditioner and no Wi-Fi or no air condition and we have Wi-Fi. Either or, not pleasant. Well, they're both fine, I guess, in their own way. I don't know what I'm saying. So on that note, keep up the good work. We moved rooms. Even though I ended the vlog, this is just extra add-on. We moved rooms and now we have TV. Because everyone left, so we took the rooms. <laughs> the dog is not moving. He's moving. I can't. <laughs> <laughs>